We've been discovering a lot of hidden gems lately. Yeah, maybe we should send him to Metal Jesus. We should. Hey, what you doing? Hey, I'm just working on another Hidden Gems video, and cool. uh, yeah, Aaron and Ricky from uh, Retro Liberty sent me a potential box of Hidden Gems here. Nice! I know, kind of cool, huh? Yeah, so, really fun. I'm, I'm going to dig into it. Okay, cool. I'm DMP's upstairs trying to shave the back, you know, ooh, trying to reach places, ooh, so ooh, I'm going to okay. help him out. So. Alright, well, good luck with that. <laughs> Dude, All can't right. unsee it. Let's dig in. Teletubbies? Well, you know, the purple one's kind of cute. All right, let's give it a shot. <laughs> what else is in here? Dead or Alive Paradise for the PSP. Sure. <laughs> Man. Here's my hand. What is this? What else is in there? Oh uh, yeah, now we're talking Barbie the Island Princess. Oh yeah. Banana smoothie for me. Civilization? What are you doing? I thought you said these were good games. You know, it's, it's Barbie. I mean, it's Barbie. What the hell is wrong with you, man? I Damn you, Retro Liberty! Damn you! Dude, I wonder if Metal Jesus was pissed about those games. Who cares, dude? He's just Metal Jesus. It's not like he's real Jesus. So what was going to be just a usual Wednesday night turned into a game hunting night along with a little bit of pizza parlor and arcades with Games 31. We got a phone call about a week ago saying he's going to be in the area again. So we know we got to take advantage of the time we can get with him and hang out. And what's better than a little pre-game hunting by eating some pizza and playing some games in the arcades? If they had Robotron, I think we'd be here all the time. Yeah, me and Ricky, I've been really actually wanting to buy one. The Robotron? The yeah, cheapest yeah. one I've seen is 600 bucks. I was talking to Greg from Arcade Impossible. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said that that's not kind of the higher end for one, but he's like, you know, if you find one for four. Let me go to Tron Arcade. That'd be sweet. That'd be oh, dude, that was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> So we arrive here at Fat Collectibles, and Ricky and I have been here quite often and we go here all the time, but John's never been and it really seems like a place he'd like, so we decided if we're going to take him to a local spot, why not take him to one that has toys and video games, because we know John's really into both. They have Sawyer from Lost, and they also have Locke. Which uh, was like my well, like he was like my favorite character until like the last season or two. I don't know. Did you guys watch Lost? Let me know if you did, because I was like sure. hardcore in the Lost for a while. Ricky, I got Lost. Really? He got Lost and Lost. I, I think I understood it honestly the whole way through, and I made it to the end. So awesome! Those cool Thundercats series. though. Thundercat. Thunder. Thundercats. 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 Thundercats rock. Did you Dude. ever watch Lost? Oh, no, I got lost watching the first That's episode. What he just said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being sick and tired of be calling a hipster douchebag online by you guys. Fabio. Fabio. I can't believe it's not Butcher. Did you know? I can't believe it's not Butcher. That on a uh, Ghost Rider and not not Sperry from around here, he was on it and a he a bird ran into his nose and broke his nose. Oh really? Yeah. Well, He's super hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we're walking around and John's eyes go straight to these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards, the vintage ones, and John gets a pretty bright idea 
Well, in his mind, it was a good idea. If I buy you an old pack of playing cards, do you think I want to get the camera? It's a lot of these classic uh, cards. Our pack of like gum, and these are probably 20 years old, so we're gonna, we're gonna buy one for our parents so we can uh, experience on the camera and see what it tastes like. They're awful. It's awful. It's awful. I'm kind of nervous. John, John said when he told the guy we're getting it, the guy like looked at him serious and said, just don't eat the gum. What if we get all sick? We won't, huh? Sugar. Sugar and processed stuff. That's 20 years old. Well, oh, at least you never know. Oh, well. Whatever. Who cares? One, two, three. Oh! Look how we broke my tooth! So if you guys watch our show, you'll notice that we're hanging out with John a lot lately and we're becoming really good friends with them and it's something we never imagined happening. But it is and we're super thankful and enjoy his friendship. But now it's time to go to a swap meet in some flea markets, which we do every weekend and we're going to get some fast food as we also do every weekend. And to be honest, we should probably cut back on. Oh well, it's not like we're a bunch of savage animal beasts. <laughs> Yes! 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 Watch this. Honestly, I kind of ruined my food. What'd you guys do? Why are you guys laughing? You guys did something to my food. What am I sitting at? What'd you guys do? You better not ruin my Dr. Pepper. What'd you guys do? Just drink it. Are you serious? Now I can't even enjoy it. Just drink it, dude. And there's something wrong with my pee in you, dude. What? <laughs> pee in me? <laughs> I'm in pee on, I'm in pee on you, not pee in you. I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're in Riverside, and we're being kind of hidden right now. There's security like all around, and for some reason they're staring at us. We were going to have a rock throwing contest again, but we're not going to do it because they're staring at us, and uh, we don't know if they want us to film, so... Let's go, we're gonna sneak our way in. Back to Riverside. Hand play! We got Michael Jordan, Chaos in the Windy City. like super stupid. You're Michael Jordan, but you're like fighting in levels that have nothing to do with basketball and your weapon is you chuck basketball. your basketball at people. I think I played that one. It's it like has it's like seems promising because the graphics are okay. But it's pretty sucky. Ooh Ricky. I like this. Do you know how much this one is? Yeah that one is for thirty dollars. Thirty dollars Chris. I'm missing this one for the GameCube. Did you know that the um I think this is Buster Douglas, right? The Sega Master System version of this game, Buster yeah. Douglas, is actually the most rare game. I think, like, in the top one or two most rare games on the Genesis, or on the Sega Master System, which I didn't know was a real thing, because that sounds like it wouldn't be true, because it's a sports game. But yeah, and I, there's a guy on YouTube, Play Lives, who uh, just got it, like, a few months ago, so freaking awesome for him. He got it, got it at a Goodwill. So to get that done and accomplished, it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. So today we haven't found anything at all and that's kind of bumming us out because we've been looking all day and to be honest something else that sucks is we're getting asked not to film at all which never happens. We have no idea what's going on today but almost every other booth is telling us not to film along with security but at least we met a subscriber in the parking lot and he was a really cool dude and we always love meeting people who watch the show because we have something to talk about with all of them. Well video games there is so much poop in that toilet i'm Dude. talking like the toilet's like this deep and there's probably this much room that's not poop and as i was peeing like poop little particles are flying up why don't you it use the urinal there's a urinal so we decided to test our luck out by going to a different spot but first we're gonna see if we can hit up nes complex to go game hunting with us what do you think his message sounds like hi this is chris complex hi i love video games this is Chris. Leave a message. I'll call you back soon. So Thank professional. You. Wow, Chris. Uh, Chris, this is Retro Liberty. Whoa. Whoa. That's all. Bye. <laughs> Chris. Yeah. 
How has it been today with all the people like telling us not to film and security watching us and people pounding us about filming? Yeah, it's been weird today. It's been off. It's been an off day. Everyone seems on high alert for some reason or something. But uh, yeah, we just had some guy that we go to every time. You guys have bought a lot of games from him, I think, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah, he was like our friend and we just, right when we walk up, he's like, oh yeah, you know, we always let you film and you never buy anything. Hey guys, let me tell you something. I don't really give a chance so many times to take a picture of my stuff. Which is annoying too because we do buy stuff from him. It's on footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I buy a ton of stuff. Here. He's kind of not on the good list right now. I know, we're pretty pissed actually. I'm kind of bummed because he was kind of our friend. Anyway, yeah, so we'll see. Was his right? Just kidding. If you guys don't know by now, Nintendo 64 controllers, and mainly the colored ones, are getting really expensive. A lot of people are trying to sell them for like 20 to $30 now, so if you can grab them for around 5 to 10 bucks, I would definitely say grab it. How much is the green? $5. Okay. Do you want this bolsito? Ricky is... It's not Killer. How much? Five. You guys got a five on Kabo? She doesn't have change. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll take that controller. Just kidding. Okay, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a good deal. Five bucks for that? People are selling those now for like 20 bucks. People are, I think they're getting like really popular. So, awesome, Ricky. I'll pay you back, Aaron. Controller. What is it called? Atomic blue? Ice blue, right? I think it's... Everyone's yelling right now that's watching because they all know. I don't know that. What is it? Atomic purple? So I'll, is say, I'll say ice blue? I'll say ice blue. It's atomic purple, ice blue, and Ricky red. It's getting really hot and we're getting kind of tired at this point, but hey, look at this. Somebody with a lot of good stuff and he happens to be a subscriber of the show. Awesome. Normally, like we said, everybody we meet is really awesome and really usually willing to work with us. Shinobi in box, this is sick. I think I like the Master System version better than the original Nintendo one, but this is the one I played first, and it's sick to have box. It's a Tengen game, so it's black. Is it Tengen or Tengen? I don't know. I call it Tengen. Do you call it Tengen or Tengen? I think it's Gen. Oh, really? I think so. Uh, I don't. I always don't know what I call it. I just change it every time. I'm like, whatever. Whatever I feel. So it looks like at the end of the day, good thing we didn't give up hope and just walk out because that last place we went to is where we got most of our stuff for the day. It's much easier to drive home when you know you got stuff. There's nothing worse than leaving the flea market and hot and sweaty and empty handed. But today, that wasn't the case. So this one's going to be Mrs. Cricket or Cricket, however she says it. But um, she just found our channel recently and like been diving through all of our videos and commenting and being super rad. So this is going to be her. No offense. This is a great looking. Go. Hey guys, I am Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're Retro Liberty. First off, we want to say hey, thank you to Metal Jesus Rocks. Thanks, Aaron. If you guys don't know Metal Jesus, which he's a very popular channel, so you probably do. Yeah. He is a great YouTuber, been around for a while, and he's a very big inspiration of a lot of people in the gaming world. So thank you for that intro. And he does really cool hidden gems with you guys videos. Oh, such good ones. Yeah, he does a lot of different videos, but I really enjoy his Hidden Gems videos. He, yeah. Uh, a lot of the Wii games I've gotten, and Nintendo games have you gotten, even of our show. Dude, I've the Shadow it. game? Yeah, That dude. was good. Yeah, uh, Lost in Shadow, I think, on the Wii. That was great. Boy is Blob on the Wii. All because of Metal Jesus. So thank you, Metal Jesus. You <laughs> Okay, let's get straight into our pickups of what we got. I'm going to go first this week for a reason that we'll mention Yay. that you'll know why later. For me, the first thing I got is Evolution, the world of sacred device. Sorry, I haven't played it. But um, it's a Dreamcast RPG. I was looking up about it and I know I realized that the graphics are kind of cartoony and something else. People said it's a good game, but a lot of people were saying that the story might be a little too drawn out. So I haven't played it, but if you guys have, let me know because I'm curious. I very much, as you guys know, like cartoony graphics in games. So we'll see how this awesome, goes. Though. Yeah. Then I got Rugrats on the PlayStation Black Label. I hate this game. <laughs> it's a 3D world, but. It's like super polygony. I know polygony isn't too bad, but in this game it's bad. But hey, I got it for a buck. The guy thought it was a CD. So, 
I got him. Yeah. Then I got this for a quarter from a girl who's supposed to call me with like all her games. She said she'll sell me everything for a quarter. This is all she had and I asked her phone number and she said okay. So, Gex, enter the gecko for the PlayStation. For a quarter you can't go wrong. It's a very oh, yeah. cool game. Kind of James Bondy, but as a gecko. I heard this game is a lot like James Bond. I think he does a lot of like smarmy remarks in the game. Yeah, he does. Like really punny jokes, you know. Whips his tail. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> It's tail time. It looks like a Game Pro gave it pretty much 5.0s all the way across, so good game. Nice points. It's been a while for me. This is really cool. That's man. awesome. It's the Dreamcast. It's a pink controller. This matches perfect with my pink pants. It says Millennium 2000 on it, and it's all written in Japanese, and I didn't know too much about it, so I asked on Twitter, and a lot of you guys answered um, a lot of different answers, so I'm still not too clear, but I guess it came in a few different colors, and I think they run for like 30 to 40 bucks a couple of Couple, 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 couple people were saying, but the guy that sold it to me sold it to me for five bucks. He's a guy who watches the show, so thank you very much for selling this to me for oh, yeah, five thanks, bucks. Man. I haven't even opened it yet. I will open it because I want to test it out and see how it feels, but awesome for five bucks. Especially Dreamcast, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. I love Dreamcast. Yeah. Hey, the last thing I'm going to show for you guys is um, Asterix and the Great Rescue, which is a Gen Genesis side scrolling platformer. Have you played it? A little bit. It's, yeah, it was you played fun it on I played it. Yeah. yeah. It's really pretty fun. It's super cartoonish, as you guys know I love. And I think it takes place like in the Caesar days and you're taking over like the Romans and stuff and beating up all the Romans. <laughs> You're a guy named Asterix who has like a wings looking thing, kind of like the key in Mario on your head with your big heavy barrel chested buddy. I think you're going to destroy Caesar. I, I really think that's the point. I might be wrong. That's all for me. Ricky's turn. I think I'm only sure one of the swap me things. So from the same guy who sold Aaron the controller, I got the Super Metroid box and manual. Dude, I have a Super Metroid case too. Yeah, but you made yours. Mine's official Nintendo licensed. Super clean, and if you guys don't know Super Metroid, I love Super Metroid. What are you doing here? Because Super Metroid is is you need to stop the video. I will grant you a stop the video, turn it off, and go play Super Metroid. It's if you so good. It's one of the most dark, eerie, wandering around the beginning title. Oh, that music in the beginning. I've talked about it before, but that music in the beginning is to me some of the most like eerie. Draws you in. You feel so alone the second it starts. <laughs> So nice. Freaking Super Metroid. Go play it now. Man. Next, I'll go with Mario Party 2. Did, Did someone, someone say, say Mario, Mario Party, Party again? again? Yeah? So? What, were you expecting something? What? I got it with this N64 and like five other games for 15 bucks. I was like, Psh, that's like 15 bucks right there yes. alone. So awesome game too. Very fun. Very fun. And then from another guy on Craigslist, I bought a ton of games, but I'm only showing this one since it was a ton of games for yeah. what 30? Yeah. I think I got like 15 good games, but this was one of them. This Zelda. Is, yeah. But it came with the Manuel. Manuel. <laughs> and it's the hologram one, of course. Yeah. Zelda Majora's Mask. We didn't even say which Zelda it was. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. It's Majora's Mask, and it's a really dark uh, Zelda game. It's very, the moon in that game is like everyone's like worst nightmare. It's a very good game. I didn't even, I, tell the truth, I haven't even played this one. I can't believe I haven't played this game. You know what's funny for me? I did play that one more than I played Ocarina of Time, so. That's the one I did play, <laughs> like crazy. Yeah, this was after Ocarina, and a lot of people didn't give it as much love as Ocarina because it was compared to such a great game like Ocarina. But it is still a great game. I know a lot of people will very much agree it's a beautiful Zelda game. Hard. I heard it's hard. It is hard. So, I can't wait. And then, actually, I just saw this one in Metal Jesus. It's, uh... Hey, more Metal Jesus! <laughs> Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. It pretty much just has, uh, what is it, Metal Gear 1, the PlayStation 1, not the NES. And then the Sons of Anarchy, I believe. Is that the one? A Liberty? Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty. Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. bad. That'd be sweet. <laughs> wow. Too much Netflix. Yeah, too much Netflix. Maybe. <laughs> and then for my last thing, I actually did this on my uh, Instagram. I told you guys I didn't get I didn't, but I went back the next day. This is a big deal, too. I went back the next day and talked to the manager. I'm like, hey, so uh, when's that thing going to get sold? He's like, which thing? He showed. I showed him the... 
and I could knock it down 50%. I'm like, yes. Yeah, so what happened is uh, we've got three Miracle Pianos and you guys hate us for that. This is now our fourth together combined. I have two, he has two. Aaron, what should we do with the rest of these Miracle Pianos? Uh, just throw them over here with the rest of them. It has the conversion kit, it has the pedals, it has, I think it has the plugs, it has the um, the booklets to show you how to play songs. It so, doesn't have the cords to plug it in the, oh, it doesn't yes. have the plug in cord. But hey, <laughs> dude, look at this. This is ridiculous. People were freaking out like, are you kidding me? You guys are finding another Miracle Piano, so. And at the same place, I got it at Goodwill again. <laughs> yeah, so, Goodwill, come on. <laughs> Let's stop bashing on Goodwill, people. We all hate it once, sometimes, but the majority of the time we end up up. Uh, yeah. Hey, I think that's all we got, Ricky. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all that. Ricky has an Instagram now. Chris has an Instagram at Ricky Retro Liberty at Chris Retro Liberty. Ours is at Retro Liberty. Hey, check us out, like I said, on uh, GameStraighty1.com. I haven't said that in a while. GameStraighty1.com. Awesome guy. We've been hanging out with him yeah. very much lately. And he is uh, really becoming a very close friend of ours. So Yeah, Gamester's cool. Yeah, we John. love you, John. We're Retro Liberty. Oh, ha, ha Don't forget to like the video. The last like. videos at, like, freaking, what, almost 900 likes? That's insane. That's insanity. If we ever get to 1,000 likes, I'm going to freak out. Literally, I'll, I'll probably freak out. So, thank you guys so much. <laughs> Honestly, uh, the channel is growing awesome. And to us, it's just more friends in the community and a bigger bond and um, thank you guys for supporting my video with uh, my baby in it too when I showed my new baby so she, my wife Aaron got all your congrats guys yeah thank you guys woo so and uh, <laughs> that's it uh, anything else uh, I'll let you slap me go ahead you know you slap me mine was way harder I feel bad adios guys let's do gunshots on the way out ready one two Gotta catch them all. We're trying to catch beetles. Me and Ricky like to catch bugs. What just happened? Just caught the beetle. Where is it? Right there. Yeah. See. We're each gonna take one of these. From 1988. Yes. I don't think we're playing cards. I think we're yeah. doing something else. We're gonna open this up. Ooh, it opened really nicely. Yeah. Dude, mine's still complete. Mine's complete too. Complete in box. Ricky? Oh, he's broken. I'm broken, but I'm good. So, eat him? 25 years old, dumb. Let's do it. Ready? Okay, ready? Yeah, three. One, two, yeah, three. three. Oh! Look, I almost broke my tooth! <laughs> How's the taste? The taste is alright! Oh my gosh, mine's crumbling. Dude, mine doesn't, doesn't even come anymore. <laughs> Are you swallowing? <laughs> no, it's automatically going in. It's like, it's not even chewing. It's powder. It's powder. And mine's gone. <laughs> That's pretty gross at the end. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, ah! it's powder, you know. It's gone. I thought we were just going to chew bubble gum, I kinda to be like honest. It. <laughs> and he did. Ricky likes it. Ricky, I thought we were just chewing gum and like spit it out, but it's gone. It's, we're gonna it's go, in we're, my system. We're going to go back tomorrow. There's going to be no more. Ricky's going to be fine. <laughs> 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 Diarrhea days are here. So what card did you guys get? Oh gosh! Dude, I got Splinter. Oh, that's bad. The aftertaste is terrible. Oh, 